Alright guys, today I'm back and this is going to be the first video in my challenge series that I'm doing on my channel. And I don't know how long this series is going to last. I don't, you know, it just depends on how many challenges I get to, how many, like, because there's only so many challenges out there. But, like, obviously there's quite a few challenges. And I'm going to do, like, <clears throat> the more known ones. And then there's obviously some challenges that aren't that known, but I'm still going to do them. And say so we're going to be playing hardpoint. Here's the class I'm using real quick. And basically in this challenge, you start on a one sensitivity. Every kill you get, you go up by one. So you start out with a one sensitivity. You get one kill, then you increase your sensitivity to two. You get another kill, it goes up to three. And then you get another kill, and it just goes on like that. You know, it's every kill you get, you increase your sensitivity by one. And like, you can't just get a double kill and like do it like that. Like, say, oh, well, there were two people I, ha I couldn't, like, no, you can't do that. Like, you have to. Every single kill, you increase your sensitivity, but like if you die, you don't decrease your sensitivity. It's only if you get a kill do you change your sensitivity. So, and like what's hard about this is when you have to turn on people and you can't turn on people. I don't know why I couldn't pick up the MSMC right there. But it's really hard at like, like I said, at the start when you're on like a sensitivity between like one and like four, I would say like, it's kind of hard. Cause like I said, you can't turn on people. Like you can only move so fast and then like, I don't know, I can do about like a, I can do for anywhere from about a 7 to like a 12, and then after that it's just, I can't do it, like 13 and 14 is too fast for me, and then anything below that it's just too slow, like, like I've been saying, like you can't turn on people, and these people are getting in some pretty good spots for me, but you guys, like, I think you guys understand it by now. But it's not like you have to play a certain game mode or use a certain gun. You know, you play whatever game mode with whatever gun. It's just that you have to do the challenge. Like, I could have done this in FFA with a sniper if I wanted to. But, you know, whatever. And we got a VSAT suite. So, I need to start focusing up here. And I don't know if these videos are going to be cut commentaries or if they're going to be, like, full gameplays. Or, you know, we'll just have to see. Like, we'll have to see what happens. So, your sensitivity until you hit 14, it should always be one less than the amount of kills you have i think that's how it works no one more than the amount of kills you have because you start on a one and then after one kill it goes to a two and after two kills it goes to a three so yeah so at the start until you hit 14 your sensitivity should always be trick shot your sensitivity should always be one more than the amount of kills you have and it looks like there's a bunch of people backing out of this game so i'm actually just gonna end this game here seven and five and then i'll pick it up in the next game i play so i will see you guys in the next game all right guys i'm back and this time looks like we're on studio and i put on a different gun same class just different gun this time i'm gonna be using the chicom with laser and fast mag because that's about all i have unlocked right now and i've been struggling to find a good lobby because every lobby i get into Everyone on their team backs out, everyone on my team backs out, or people just camp for streaks. Or, in the case of last game, people are using LMGs and shotties on hijack, so, you know, it's whatever. Just back out, try again. But, let's see what we can do this game. Looks like... That guy just got turned on. That was the worst spawn I could have gotten, and he got turned on. And he was using a suppressed LMG. So... GG dude, GG. And phase aim botter has a swarm. And dogs. And an orbital maybe? I don't know if his orbital is up yet or Yeah, his orbital's gone. So I said I left last game because there was people using suppressed LMGs won this game. There's another dude using a suppressed LMG. This time he's this guy has thermal on it, so it's like I'm playing ghost now. No, not a kill. Okay. And that was a kill. Alright. Back to a one sensitivity. The struggle is back. You're weak, dude. You are weak. If this sensitivity messes you, like, it screws you over on so many kills that you would normally have. But, like, you'll get them weak and then they'll just, like dodge and weave or duck and weave or whatever and they'll just matrix your bullets because well it's not even matrixing your bullets it's just that you can't keep up with them because your sensitivity is so low phase aim botter has another set of streaks this guy's 54 and 4 and you know what 
Okay, I was about to say he's boosting. There's a, that kid with the assault shield, he's boosting. It's pretty annoying. Always the guy who gets killed when there's only one guy on their team and we've got a swarm and dogs and VSAT. And there's only one guy alive on their team. I'm always the one guy who gets killed. It's oh, it's never your teammates. It's never anyone else. It's it's always me. It's it's always me. It's pretty frustrating, but sometimes I wonder how I can shoot a guy, hit them with an explosive, and then keep shooting them, and they still outgun me. Like they live through it and out and kill me. I know that I don't have the best gun skill, and my accuracy is obviously not always on point. But when I can kill, when I can hit them with bullets, hit them with an explosive, and then hit with them with more bullets, and they still live. I'm kind of shocked. And sometimes they do have on flak jacket, sometimes they don't. But either way, it still really surprises me how that can happen. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of the game. Um, at the end, I just. I was getting spawn tracked really like they weren't even playing the objective at the end of the game they were just like trying to go for kills and I was I went from 25 and 12 or 24 and 12 to 25 and 19 solely because I was alive for less than two seconds after every spawn so whatever phase aim body goes 85 and 16 but hope you guys enjoyed this challenge video let me know what other challenge what other challenges you would like me to do in the comment section below or you know, just tweet at me you know, whatever just let me know somehow some way and let me know uh, what you guys are scrolling on these challenge videos. Right? That was the sensitivity challenge. Like I said, every kill you get, you go up one sensitivity. And that's basically the only rules to it. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you did. Follow my Twitter links. That will be in the description below. Sub if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time.